Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening for whatever time you're watching this. I'm Nico Chanel from Supremey Baby and I'm here with my Supremey boy, Carlo. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Carlo's a 24 weeker and I'm also here with my other Supremey boy, Koi, who just ran out of the screen. He's a 35 weeker. We're so happy to see you, friends. It's been such a long time since we've chatted with you, and we've missed y'all so, so much. But we're back with another Teeny Creamy Chat, or TPC, for sure. For this TPC, we are going to be reading this awesome, awesome book, I Was a Creamy Just Like You by Allie Dunn. Are you ready? Grab your preemies and snuggle up tight because we're going to be reading to you guys and we really, really hope you enjoy it. Are you ready, boys? Let's go. Let's jump right in. Let's go. I Was a Preemie Just Like You by Allie Dunn. <laughs> Some babies are born early, sick, or just too little. They need extra care, so they stay at the hospital. Baby. baby, good job. Baby. That is a baby. There is a special place for babies called the NICU. I stayed there because I was a preemie, just like you. Yeah, Kylo's telling you that's a person. Tubes helped me breathe and gave my lungs a jump start. A magic bed kept me warm. Monitors watch my heart. Hmm. Yeah, you see the baby in bed? My family would visit, but when we couldn't be together, I passed the time in my magic bed by dreaming of great adventures. Wow, that's the Statue of Liberty. That baby has big dreams. <laughs> what would you? Yeah. Me. Yeah, sometimes I was a biologist me. in a deep sea submarine. Talk to me. Yeah, with the fishies, right? Wow. Sometimes I was a kite. Just look at all my strings. Wow, kite flies in the sky. <laughs> Sometimes I was an astronaut on a mission to see the moon. Rocket. Rocket, rocket, rocket. Fly in the sky. <laughs> Sometimes I was a butterfly still inside of a cocoon. You see the cocoon? Cocoon. Sometimes I was a joey, snuggled in a pouch, like a kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, a kangaroo. Pop, pop, pop. And with a lot of love, I grew and grew and grew. Grew. The day had come to go home. I was big and strong. I thank the doctors and nurses birthday. who helped me all birthday. along. Yeah, it's kind of like a birthday party, right? Hooray! 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 <laughs> I am very brave for all that I've been through. I am a miracle, just like you. <laughs> Good job. Wow, friends. What an awesome book that was. We've really enjoyed reading with you. Preemies are such warriors. They go through so much and put up their best fight, even as babies, right? Yeah, it's truly, truly amazing. Well, that's all for our TPC chat today, friends. But before you go, we want to remind you of our Sesame Street petition contest that we have going on right now through the end of the summer. If you'd like your free, you. yeah, if you like your freebie to be the face of our Sesame Street petition, submit your freebie's cutest Sesame Street photos or drawings to our DM, or send it over to our friends at our little freebie. 
and friends, don't forget to sign and share our actual petition. You can find the link in our bio. Prematurity awareness and visibility is very, very important. And it would be huge, so huge for our community if Sesame Street dedicated time to address prematurity on their platform. Not only would it be an opportunity to educate millions of viewers who may not know much about prematurity, but it is also a great chance to give our babies the visibility that they deserve. Did you know when children see themselves or people like them on TV or in any forms of media, it helps them foster healthy self-esteem? That's amazing, right? Like I said, friends, click the link in our bio and it will take you straight to our petition. Until next time, friends, take care. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye.